Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I created these Sailor Moon inspired nails. are the products I'm going to be using. This is the Tammy Taylor Whitest White Acrylic Powder. The Beauty Secrets White Acrylic Powder. A Pink Acrylic Powder. Acrylic Brush. My Nail Liquid. And a Straight Razor. And this is for, um, I'm going to be using the soft pastels to create two colors that I don't have. This is the red pastel that I'm going to use. I'm going to just scrape the shavings into a container with the Beauty Secrets white and stir it with the back of my acrylic brush. And I'm going to repeat the same thing for the yellow. And this is going to create red and yellow acrylic powders for my design. Next, I'm going to paint all 10 nails with this pink tinted polish. Um, I created this polish just by dropping a few beads of red into a clear polish that I wasn't using. Um, but yeah, I just put one coat and let that dry. Next, I go in with this Simple Colors Glitter. This is called Show Stopping and I um, really concentrate this on the tips of the nails. I do two coats. Next, I go in with this chunkier glitter this is um, Ruby Kisses HD but yeah I just go over the same areas really focusing on the tips and this is just to give um, you know some more glitter and glam to the tips of the nails next I make my shapes I am using this silicone mold that I purchased from eBay and I am just placing beads of acrylic into the molds. Um, I am creating crescent shapes, crescent moon shapes, and star shapes with this. And you really have to let the acrylic set. So this, this is going to be setting while I move on to the next part. So now I'm starting on Sailor Moon's bow. I start off by placing a small to medium sized bead in the center of my nail and I flatten it out. This, uh, this is gonna be the center of the bowl and also my guide. So yeah, I'm working on the bottom ribbons of the bowl first and I just place that bead and flatten it out to the shape that I need it to be. Working from the center out. And I repeat the same thing on the other side. Next, I move on to the actual bow part. And just, you know, place the bead and flatten it out to the shape that I need it to be. Um, yeah, so you guys don't get discouraged if you can't get this on the first try. It took me a long time to really you know for these shapes to look good <laughs> practice 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 okay so finally I go in with a small bead of yellow and I let it sit for a second and then I flatten it out just a little bit
Okay, so now I move on to the wand. I do a large bead of yellow, and I wasn't quite able to show it on camera, but I just work from the center out to create the crescent moon shape. And now I do a bead of pink, and I'm just working this down the nail to create a rod shape. And I fix it as I need to, um, just to make the shape even throughout. And then here I'm just trying to add the small details to it. Alright, so this is after all the, the 3D art is done. Okay, so now my pieces have set and they are ready to be applied. I only applied these to the thumbs. Um, I wasn't sure how many I was going to need, so yeah. So now I am just applying the rhinestones. I use my top coat and then just, you know, stick them on there. Okay, so after I apply all the rhinestones, I apply two coats of this Sech Beat Top Coat. And this is one of my favorites. If you guys have seen my previous nail tutorials, this is like the only top coat that I use. And so yeah, I apply two coats of this. And then after that, you're done. This is the finished look. I so love these nails. I am a super Sailor Moon fan and I just love how these came out. My previous video, click the video there. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.